Things are really humming around camp. Building the structures, getting the sleds loaded. What we're doing now is constructing the science tent and we hope that we'll be able to take the cores that we've drilled, bring them into the tent, and measure the properties of them right on site. There's all kinds of knots that end up being used on a project like this. So it's knots that you never want to come undone and knots that you want to have come undone very easily. Part of the trick here is to, is to use the appropriate knot at the appropriate time. Well, that's just this. <laughs> <laughs> Weather Haven tents are really quite easy to go together. It's just piecing it together in the proper order. So yeah. knowing what to put on when is probably the most important thing. It makes it easiest. We've set up all kinds of little instruments so we can, we can measure the snow and cut the snow and the ice cores as we collect them. And we have space down below to store our equipment. Because so much of the time we're working in real cold weather, we've, we've made kind of nice little knots here for the zippers. So it's, it's much easier to grab these with mittens than to have to grab these little pads. These are being mounted now to the sled and we won't have to set up a separate tent every night. It'll be fast and convenient. A laboratory on skis. Everything's done to make, to make our work easier when conditions are cold and difficult. Today we have 20 meter per second winds outside, which makes it hard to move around on the hillside and difficult to get, to get work done outside. So people are working inside. We have a lot of computer work to do. We have testing of electronics. So this is the kind of thing we do on days when it's too rough to go outside at Troll Station. I'm just testing my uh, data loggers and my temperature measurement sensors. It seems like it's uh, working pretty well right now. It takes, takes the temperature profile in the, uh, in the upper part of the ice sheet down to 90 meters. You really have to test it before you go out to the field to see if it's all working because you know if you go out there and like there's a glitch in your program then well you may have some time to fix it but you don't want to do that when you're in the field. So we're out here about a kilometer or so from Troll Station in one of the big metal mill vans or shipping containers. Around me all these white boxes are what's called ice core boxes. Each one of them will hold about 10 meters or 30 feet of ice core. And what we're doing today is sticking the labels on every one of the boxes. It's a lot easier to do it here where it's only a few degrees below zero than trying to do it when you're actually coring and it's 35 or 40 degrees below zero. This is very sweet. When you open up a box of so food and, and you find a note from I'm home wishing you luck or a what you yeah, would or something, is, this is sweet. At least if you Packing the food, this is uh, dry food for uh, lunch and breakfast. Yum yum peanut butter. Last time I saw it was July 30th, so, and today is October 30th. There's nothing, there's no leak or residue or anything. I like it when things show up good. Uh, my goal for this session is to have you all soaking in sweat. <laughs> Part of our, our safety training in preparation for going on the traverse is learning crevasse rescue. A few people already knew how to climb. Many of us had no idea. I hope that we will avoid all of the crevasses and not need to use this but just in case, it's a good idea to know how. 
these are, I call them nose mittens. They're designed to keep the end of your nose and in your cheeks from freezing during in cold wind, in low temperatures under windy conditions. I feel like a duck. I have to test it outside. I think this will work very well. I think it, it can make business out of this. This is brand new, state of the art. Brilliant design. <laughs> we only have to work on uh, growing the beard. Mm. So, <laughs> complete uh, coverage. You can see there's there's almost nothing that gets in. There's no no white no skin showing. So perfect protection when it's cold and windy.